HIP 39 has officially passed. The four re-denomination vote won with a 73.81 majority vote, successfully passing the 66% needed to pass the HIP. This is a major update for the network, and despite the overwhelming support, there is still a large part of the community that is not happy with the change. The changes are expected to roll out over the next few weeks and will come with significant changes to the perception of the network. The most significant changes being the immediate change in price of HNT and and the dramatic increase in HNT mining rewards. Let's take a look at some of the notable changes in today's video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you are having a great day. Please make sure to hit that like button on the way in and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would really really appreciate it. So the voting period for HIP39, the redenomination of HNT vote has officially closed. The four redenomination vote has won. It has beat the hurdle of 66% of the vote with 73.81% of the vote. Keep in mind, this vote was closed a few days late because of the halt of the blockchain that we experienced. So this did take a little bit more time. However, the voting was stopped during that time because the blockchain wasn't exactly working. Now, I have seen some conspiracy theories out there that there may have been some major players that were trying to delay the vote so that they could actually get their votes in. We might talk about that in another video. That is really just a conspiracy that is floating around out there in the interwebs. However, it is very interesting to think about uh, and maybe to dive in a little deeper and do some research, but that's for another video. But for now, this vote has passed and it is going to have a significant impact on the Helium network, on the perception of the network, and on the perception of HNT specifically. Now guys, as we can see by this chart here, this vote actually was passed the way it has, and a lot of the power that came from the votes for the four redenomination were actually really just between two different whales coming in and voting for the redenomination. As you can see, illustrated by the two ver more vertical lines on the chart, even this one including, but that one was sort of seen in the against redenomination as well. So it's really this vote here or this voting here that took place and this voting here is really what drove this hip to be passed 73%, almost 74%, which is a very, very strong majority. As you can see, down below the four redenomination top power wallets had a three wallets above 400,000 HNT in each of them all voting for the redenomination. And as you can see here by, by the HIP39 flippers, two of those wallets actually flipped the vote in favor of the redenomination. You can see they, they went from against to for redenomination. Really interesting dashboard here to really visualize how this vote transformed over time, but at the end of the day, it really did come down to a few big major players with major HNT balances that voted for this redenomination. They're clearly in favor of the redenomination and have must have been a part of Helium from very early stages as they have such a huge HNT balance. And as we can see right here in the HIP39 flippers summary, there were 45 voters that actually voted that changed that vote that flipped the vote from against to for redenomination. So it's a fewer number of voters, but a much larger power in the amount of voting power they had as compared to 130 voters that flipped it to against redenomination with a much smaller power balance. Now guys, we are gonna take a look at this, this frequently asked questions data that JMF, who is the author of this hip, has provided, which is extremely useful. However, first, I wanna just take a quick look back here at the HNT price chart right now. As we know, times in the broader crypto markets are extremely volatile. Bitcoin is down below the 60K psychological threshold. All the other altcoins, appear to be struggling, some outperforming others. Helium is really holding its own. However, we have seen a small rally over the weekend and we are coming back down to test this support and resistance area, which I think is going to play out as a major area on the charts moving forward. It is the first, the first 
line of support that we experienced after this blow off top. We're gonna, it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting to see how HNT performs at this level over the next few hours. Stay tuned for that. Now into the short frequently asked questions here outlined very, very nicely by JMF. Now he does link the GitHub hip here, which has a bunch of information. However, it's not as as detailed and as right to the point as this other stuff. And we have covered that GitHub page in previous videos. So we will not go there today. Right now, we're going to take a look at these points, which should answer so many of the people's questions out there that are just seeing this for the first time. First, all current holdings and new mining increased by 1000 times in terms of HNT. So your your HNT wallet is going to be multiplied by a thousand when this is implemented, and any HNT mining earnings you earn are also going to be multiplied by one thousand. This is not going to be something that happens over the course of weeks. It will happen immediately once it is implemented. However, it will take the developers some time to get everything in line between exchanges, between market users, network users, all those sorts of things. You can see here, there is no increase in total bones, which is what the blockchain operates on, not HNT. So each HNT is comprised of a number of bones. This redenomination is lowering the amount of bones in each HNT. The amount of bones are staying the same. However, the amount of HNT will have to increase to accommodate for the same amount of bones on the network. So the fundamentals, the real core of the network is remaining the same. Now you can see here the ratio of bones to HNT will shift from 100 million bones per HNT to 100,000 bones per HNT. That will be the new ratio. The supply of HNT will increase, but the bones are remaining the exact same. He goes on to say, this does not increase the ability for groups to do a pump and dump, which is defined by the depth of the buy and sell books not the stock price of the token. So a lot of people are worried that this is going to turn Helium and HNT into a pump and dump scheme like a lot of these other smaller market cap coins. However, that is not the case. The actual buy and sell order books will be the exact same. $100,000 will not impact this the new market structure any differently than $100,000 affects the market structure today. That is very important to realize. The actual nominal value of the token plays no role in those sorts of schemes or those sorts of market manipulation tactics. None of that is relevant with regards to this redenomination. The core motivation is avoiding unit bias issues because current mining average is about 0.2 HNT per gateway and is expected to, to decline 97 plus percent in the next two years. So if this was not passed now, in a few years, we would end up having 0.0001 HNT per day being earned by gateway miners. And that is not good for the incentives that the Helium network needs to continue to grow and scale. We need there to be strong incentives for people to set up these hotspots, to set up these miners and earn HNT and build the network. And earning 0.0001 HNT per day is not a good way to start. People are not going to be interested in that and it will only get worse with time and as the network grows. He goes on to say the original idea was one to 100, but was changed to one to 1000 in order to buy the network three to four years to grow data credit burn and provide support for HNT price before unit bias issues come up again. So he's saying that even with this split now in three to four years at the rate of growth the network is experiencing, we will probably face another unit bias issue in the future. However, we'll learn off of this redenomination and we'll see, we'll take it from there. However, this does buy us a lot of time on the network to grow and build and not face this unit, unit bias issue right now. Lastly, along with everything else, the required validator stake will increase by 1000x to 10 million HNT. Right now it is 10,000 HNT. So these are very important points that people need to understand and they will come into effect. I'm expecting the actual redenomination to probably be rolled out. It would make sense if it was rolled out Jan 1st. I don't know if everything will be ready by then, but that would be a nice clean new year with a new price. Of and of course, everything from price charts on exchanges, price charts on TradingView, all of those sorts of things will all be adjusted to reflect the redenomination. You won't see anything abrupt in the chart on the day of the redenomination. It will all be very, very fluid 
a lot of people won't even know this happened. And lastly, guys, we can see helium here in the 42 rank by market cap range again, holding its own in the 40 to 42 range for the past two or three weeks. Now, guys, lastly, JMF didn't really touch on this, but the market cap for helium will remain the same after this redenomination. But the important thing to note is that the max supply will still, there will still be a max supply for helium and proportionally it will be unchanged. It'll be the same. However, it will turn in from 223 million to 223 billion, but the circulating supply will also be multiplied by a thousand. So the same percentage right now, you could see 45.97% of the supply is already circulating. That number will stay the exact same. Helium will not become any more or less scarce. Everything will be the same proportionally on the network. However, there will be more technical HNT tokens that will be mined and they will be, of course, adjusted for a lower price. I hope that makes sense. Let me know your questions below. You know my opinion. I think this is tremendous for the network. I think this is going to really, really drive network incentives for years to come. And I really do believe that this sort of change will catapult Helium into a top 20 coin by market cap within a year. The incentives will be so strong. Once again, people, new people will join the space. They will find Helium. They will see the mining rewards and they will be so, so intrigued. And even though the dollar value is the same before and after this redenomination for miners, it is just easier to sell and incentivize people to buy miners and set them up when you can tell them they can earn thousands of a token a day rather than 0 0.002 of a token per day. And that is just the reality of the network and the psychology of the market that we live in. However, I think it will really drive market incentive and that is what everyone should be focused on in growing this network. We need the strongest incentives possible and I think this redenomination delivers it. Once again, super thanks to the rock star JMF, absolutely crushing it with his hip. So excited to see how it really plays out and excited to see what sort of stuff he comes up with in the future. He is such a huge contributor to this network hats off to him for all of this guys let me know your thoughts are you excited about this are you upset about this we're all in this together as long as the network incentives stay strong the helium network will continue to grow so at the end of the day we're really all on the same team but really let me know how you feel in the comments below thank you all so much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already but just like that this video is over and i'll see you